Mirrors in the home are generally used to see how great you look, but they can also be decorative, and if placed correctly, can make the room seem slightly larger, especially the larger mirrors. And as mirrors are made from glass, there's a wide variety of shapes and sizes. And here I have a few examples from my local builders. Let's reflect on these options. Frame mirrors are generally hung the same way you'd hang a picture frame. Two nailing anchors, and they are hung in these tabs. Some mirrors have strap hangers pre-installed, others don't, and these are available individually. Simply screw them to the frame, making sure that they are at the same distance from the edge, and drill your holes. An easy way to get the spacing of the holes correct is to stick some masking tape across the back of the mirror frame. Mark where the holes need to be, and then stick the masking tape to your wall. Now you have your drill marks. Just make sure that the tape is level before you drill. This beautiful round mirror has a decorative strap on it and is designed to hang from one point, but you will need a hook or bracket that sits proud of the wall slightly. Smaller mirrors can be hung with double-sided tapes such as these in a bathroom, especially if you don't have the space or need for a vanity. Just put a few lengths of tape on the back, press it firmly into place, and job done. Double-sided tape is also great for mounting a mirror to the back of a door. There are also a variety of hanging options available if your mirror does not have a hanging method. A picture hanging kit or mirror corners may be an option, but I do find the mirror corners a bit tricky when drilling through tiles. Whichever way you decide to hang a mirror, please make sure that it's secure. We don't want it crashing to the floor. And Builders has a wide range of mirrors and other home decor options both in-store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.